Let me let me ask you. I mean, because Omar said it was NBA Young Boy and all that shit. How do, how much do y'all think like music truly has an effect on like all this shit happening? Like, I don't I don't care what nobody says. Percentage, if you can give a percentage. People emulate, people imitate what they see and what they hear. If I had to throw an arbitrary number, I'm not gonna lie. Eighty percent of the shit is copycat. 80% of the mm-hmm. shit is I'm watching I'm watching music I'm watch, and I and I know somebody's going to say oh this doesn't you know it doesn't impact me this way I, I don't I don't feel the need to shoot him up bang bang when when I listen to NBA young boy but there's too many people I know that get empowered when they do listen to these things not and it may not be to do this but they correlate this type of music this type of lifestyle to aggression. You can't you can't tell me that that doesn't play a fact. If I if I was dating a girl, if I was dating a girl, or I, I was pursuing to date a girl, and she told me she don't listen to no R and B, no pop. She just listened to NBA, Lumberg. Young Boy, Pooh Shiesty, whatever. Me, because it's got those connotations. Oh, you aggressive. You beat bitches up. You wake up and eat Doritos and Takis. Not for me. Sound like my kind of woman. Um, eighty percent is kind of wild. Uh, eighty percent is right. kind of crazy. Eighty-five. I would say, right. I would say it is a larger number than I, I would say, like thirty percent between thirty and forty. I would say, I, if it's eighty percent, that means it would have to be abundance of people acting reactionary off of the influence of music, which I don't think it is. I do think there is a subsection of people. There are some people who legit are just moving because. They heard their favorite rapper or a song um, move a certain way. But a lot of the niggas that are doing this, them niggas are really, like, living that kind of way. Yes, they might hear some shit and, okay, this this is putting words or this is putting sounds to how I'm feeling. And if I do need to do a drill, well, nigga, this is a drill anthem right here. I'm going to play this for my soundtrack, nigga, because everybody think they the main character. But I'm not about to sit here and say major, over majority of people that are listening to rap music are being influenced to the point to where it's like, ah. Wait, what happened? I'm about to bring it up. You, you just get the 10. So shout out to Sherman. Oh, big Sherman. Big Sherman. That's other big Sherman. Big Sherman. That's a big Sherman. <laughs> Sponsor of the pod so far. So. I've seen somebody say shit like this happen every yeah, day. 75. Nigga, okay. I understand shit happen. Yes, shit can happen every day. And you still can say 30%. You know how I many people are on in America alone? It's a lot of fucking people. So 30% is still a lot of fucking people that listen to rap that are doing things and reacting to stuff. And after watching the King Von, a.k.a. the Niggler documentary, I can tell you right now, rap music is not influencing niggas enough to be doing shit. Because this nigga, the Niggler was out there living his worst life. and was no That music. doc was crazy, dog. I ain't, crazy. And we watched that shit for like four uh, hours straight, bro. Nice. <laughs> crazy. 